Hi everyone, my name is Dave Fitzpatrick. I'm an educational consultant for RM Education and I just wanted to create a short video to talk about the differences between a Google Hangout Meet and a Google Stream. Now a Google Hangout or Google Meet is very much a collaborative meeting space like a virtual meeting room whereby everybody in that meeting can talk and show their video and contribute to the online chat. So it's very much an interactive collaborative experience. In contrast, a Google Stream is very much a passive, one-way experience. So, for example, the teacher would be creating a live presentation in real time and the students would be viewing that presentation in real time, but there would be no interactivity going on. It would be purely a one-way experience. But this is something you may want to do because you don't want, perhaps, students to be disrupting or interrupting the lesson or being silly with the chat. So this could be something that might be useful for you. So to create a normal Google Meet, a normal Google Hangout, you could do this, for example, click on the nine squares, the mosaic, and click on to meet. Click on to join or start a meeting. Give it a name. Click on to continue. For this video, I'm just going to disconnect my camera and microphone and click on to join now. And now you are presented with a URL for this Google Meet and this needs to go to anybody that you want to join this meeting. So it could be shared via Google Classroom, via a Google Calendar, it could be shared via your school website, or however you are sharing this type of information with your students. A Google Stream is a little bit more complicated. In order to set up a Google Stream, I have to do it via my Google Calendar. So I click onto the nine squares and I go to my Google Calendar. I click and I set up a meeting. And this is, I'm going to call my meeting Google Stream and click onto more options. I then have to add conferencing, Hangout Meet. Critically though, the difference is here on this drop down, I have the ability to add a live stream, which I'm going to do. And you can see now I have multiple URLs. I have my Google Hangout Meet URL, which is what you would give to people that you wanted to collaborate and contribute within the meeting and maybe talk. But also you have now a new URL for the live stream. And this is what you would give to students or people that you just wanted to be able to passively watch the presentation. If I now save that, it's gone into my calendar and at any time now I can click on this and I can join the Hangout Meet. Again, I'm just going to switch off the camera and the microphone and I'm going to click on join now. If you can see now at the top, I've got the option to start streaming. So I'm going to click on to here and click now to confirm I want to start streaming. If you look on the top left now, you can see that it's beginning to start the stream. This sometimes takes 10 or 20 seconds, but you can see now that's now gone red. So this meeting is live. If I go to the bottom left, I again get my meeting details. If you remember, this is the URL if you want people to collaborate in the meeting, but this is the URL to give people if you just want them now to be able to watch this meeting passively. So if I copy this and now go to a student and they pop the URL into their browser, again, they may have got this via Classroom or via their calendar. But now just to show you what's happening here, this is now very much, if I click on to play, me now watching this video presented by my teacher in real time. But you can see I have no ability to chat, I have no ability to share my desktop, I have no ability to talk or use my camera. Thank you.